Hi students, Professor Laney. I want to give you a quick little tutorial on Quizlet. I did put the link here under quizzes and exams. There should be one in every folder, but just in case, here it is. Um, I made each chapter a study set. I'll combine them by units. Um, I have a running total of all the terms together and then a separate list just for acronyms. So it's a free app. I believe it's a Facebook based app. You can get it on your phone. It's great. You can just use it while you're standing in line somewhere and it's pretty awesome. You can use it for, you can make your own sets and set it up for your old, old all your classes too. It's pretty great. So ours here, this is just going to be our list of acronyms. Look at this. All these letters that mean these things. That's a big deal in special ed. You're going to get a lot of those. So um, you click here to see the rest of the sets. Chapter 1, 2, this is going to be the running total of all of the terms, and there's your acronyms. So let's say Chapter 1, we wanted to, you know, work on that. It all also will tell you if you've missed stuff. So you, here's the tricky part. You have to spell it exactly. If there's a typo, you're going to miss it. But it also helps you with spelling, language acquisition, in case you need more practice. So there's different things that you can do, like flashcards right here. It's towards an egalitarian society. They must be talking about social justice. Yay, right? You can also do this thing where it gives you this. Supports to compensate for disabilities. Accommodations. Now, if I put accommodation, it would say you're wrong or you could overwrite it to say, no, I was really correct. Living center. Okay. Good. So just look right here. It'll keep your running total and things like that, right? So you, there's a lot of things that you can play with here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the speller, which is good. So I'm not sure if you can hear that, but she said, high incidence disabilities. Disabilities. I wonder if it needs a dash. We'll see. Oh. Americans. I wonder if it needs it capitalized. Not sure. Not free, appropriate public education. FAPE. See. O P R I A. helping. Try again for practice. That's pretty cool. That's nice. She helps you with that. There's also a test here. It looks like a real test. So hint, hint, maybe check that out. Okay. There's fill in, multiple choice, true, false. Pretty awesome. Scatter is pretty cool because you have to drag stuff to make it work together. Um, let's see. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. High incidence. Um, let's see, uh, egalitarian society, first law, IDA, uh, no, that's supposed to be FAPE, 504 would be people with disabilities, low incidence, prevalence is here, um, sometimes, um, things are hiding. Uh, least students, low incidence, deficit perspective, okay, and IDA would be here, and FAPE would be here. 46.4, can you beat me? Look at last time I did it in 36.7. So it sound, it, it's another way that you can learn that, okay? Um, gravity kind of freaks me out because it's like a game and I'm not really good at the fast stuff, but you could do the, the definition and then make it go slow. <clears throat> if you miss a term twice, it'll destroy your planet, right? Prevalence. You would say low incidence disabilities, right? Yay! So that's awesome. So again, you can um, do it any way that you want. It's super fun. So I just wanted to make that available for you guys, and I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you on the next video.